It's been 16 years since renowned sports columnist Mitch Album has contacted Maury Schwartz, his sociology professor at Brandeis University. Album had taken as many classes taught by Schwartz as he could before graduating from Brandeis and moving to New York City to pursue a career as a jazz pianist. That dream changed abruptly when Album's beloved Uncle Mike, near whose family Album lived as a young pianist, died at age 42 of pancreatic cancer. Album chucked the music, went to graduate school in journalism, and became a noted sports columnist in Detroit. One night while channel surfing, he sees Schwartz interviewed by Ted Koppel on Nightline. Schwartz is suffering from ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, and caught the attention of Koppel when a friend of Schwartz sent Maury's aphorisms about living and dying to the newsman. Album calls Schwartz out of the blue and is recognized by the prof, who enjoyed being called coach by his gifted student. The columnist flies to Massachusetts on a Tuesday to visit Schwartz. After some awkward moments caused by the younger man's impatience and self-absorption, he continues weekly visits as Schwartz physically deteriorates. Maury's mind and heart, though, remain as vibrant as ever as he teaches his greatest lesson to Mitch. Album co-wrote the stage adaptation with Jeffrey Hatcher in 2002, five years after his book was published. The current production at New Jewish Theater utilizes a clever set designed by Christy Johnston, which is focused on an off-kilter bookcase at the rear of Maury's den. The one-room scenic design is accentuated with props such as a black rotary phone provided by Sarah Azizo. You and my wheelchair are the newest things in this room, says Maury with a smile at one point to Mitch. In the background is an image of barren trees until the final scene, when shedding leaves are shown, all carefully illuminated by lighting designer Michael Sullivan. Michelle Friedman Seiler's costumes delineate Maury's steadily declining condition. Director Anna Pileggi incorporates the breadth of the stage to show at first the chasm between Mitch and Maury, then allows their distance to shrink as the young man slowly begins to appreciate the wisdom of his mentor. Pileggi also provides a beautiful juxtaposition of Andrew Michael Neiman as Mitch at the piano at stage right, while Jim Anthony renders Maury's omnipresent dance moves at stage left. Anthony crafts a remarkable and ingratiating performance as the afflicted Maury, who won't allow the limitations of his body to conquer his life-affirming spirit. He shares an affecting chemistry with Neiman as the obstinate album, all the while subtly conveying the older man's decline. Neiman demonstrates the explosive nature of album's capricious personality, showing how the wealthy, famous writer won't let go of the injustices he believes were thrust upon him unfairly, and now is obsessed with being the best at what he does. That selfish attitude is gradually improved by the endearing final scene. There's much to admire in this presentation of Tuesdays with Maury, which has a message worth hearing any day of the week. I think I find less message in that play than, than some people do, but I thought the cast in this, both of these guys are really terrific. They work well together.